Do you know that the Nigerian governors are the second most protected people in Nigeria? After obviously the president of the nation, Muhammad Buhari. Unlike many other countries such as the United Kingdom, where the prime minister can comfortably ride to the office using a bicycle. For Nigeria, you know if you try them. Cause some unknown government and some other personnel that are against your governance might loot you on the way like a palliative. According to a report by the United Nations, every 100,000 Nigerian need at least one policeman for protection. Nigeria has about 370,000 police officers and 223,000 army officers. This number can barely provide protection for over 230 million Nigerians. But as funny as this might look, the 36 Nigerian governors have almost 10,000 police officers and army officers assigned to them. Do you know that for every governor's convoy, there is at least 10 security Prado and Hilos SUVs attached to it? In this very video, we will be looking at the top 5 most protected Nigerian governors in 2022. At the number 5th spot, we have Hope Uzodema. Hope Uzodema is the governor of Imo State, a state that gave birth to the unknown government. Hope Uzodema is the most protected governor from the East. This is majorly as a result of the dirty politics that he was alleged to be playing with former governor Ruchas Okorocha. It was alleged that Hope Uzodema has gone against the people no wonder why his house was attacked by unknown gunmen in 2021. Hope Uzodema was said to be the mastermind behind the Orlo massacre that took place in 2021. Governor Hope Uzodema has special officers that follows him everywhere he goes. At the number four, we have Governor Yesu Mwike. Governor Wike is one of the most vocal governors that we have in Nigeria. His no-nonsense attitude has gotten a lot of Nigerians talking as of late. Governor Yeson Wike has verbally attacked several godfathers that control the affairs of the country. As the governor of River State, Yeson Wike is majorly protected from evil groups such as kidnappers, assassins and militants. Nyeso Mwike has stepped on the toes of many traditional rulers and governors in Nigeria, especially Rotimi Amechi, the present Minister of Transportation. Nyeso Mwike's personal car is always bulletproof. His SUV car are kitted with bomb detectors. Nyeso Mwike at the number 4 spot. At the number 2, we have Governor Nasi El Rufai, the governor of Cardinal State. Erufai is one of the most protected governors in Nigeria because of the way he fights bandits and Boko Haram. Erufai's enemies are mainly bandits and corrupt politicians and law enforcement officers who have vowed to cause destruction in Nigeria. To show you this man's level of protection, Governor Erufai was the one that indirectly started the open door challenge. This video suggests the level of protection that this man seriously needs from security agencies and well-meaning Nigerians. At the number two, we have Governor Chukuma Soludo. The present governor of Anambra State, Governor Chukuma Soludo, has been subjected to severe protection barely one month he entered into power. This is because Anambra is a Biafra state. Any policy made by the governor that doesn't go well with the fight for Biafra and the release of Nam De Kano will cause a lot of political instability. On the 8th of April 2022, Soludo ruled against the sit-at-home order instituted by IPOB. This singular act led to the burning of the local government secretariat. Barely one month in office, Soludo ordered for the demolition of the church of the liquid metal himself, the Indaboski Bahose. At the number one spot, we have Baba Ghana Umara Zulum. Baba Ghana Umara Zulum is the governor of Bono State, 
the most insecure states in Nigeria. So it's normal for this governor to move with the heaviest of convoys in Nigeria. Well, Boko Haram himself know the fear Governor Zulum's convoy because a few months ago, his convoy was attacked and 11 persons were killed in the process. Given the level of coordinated attack from Boko Haram and bandits, Governor Babadulum has been identified by the United Nations as the most insecure governor in Nigeria. So guys, uh, these are the list of the top 5 most protected governors that we have in Nigeria. If you have any suggestion to this very video, leave a comment down in the comment section. If you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe.